All right, so here we are looking at the skull again. This is the anterior view, so some same structures that we just saw in the last video. Uh, this is going to be the frontal bone here, okay, as we come down into the orbits, which make up our eye. You'll notice we've got these little notched structures, okay, we've got a, a supraorbital notch on this side. Here we have a supraorbital foramen, same, same purpose for both of them. This is where blood and nerve supply is going to come out and feed the forehead. Um, this is our nasal bone. If we turn to the side slightly, you'll see the nasal bone, the maxillary bone, the lacrimal bone, and then the ethmoid bone. So N, M, L, E as you go into the eye, anterior, posterior. On the inferior side here, we have the infraorbital foramen. Again, these are the holes where nerves and blood supply are going to come out. As you look right into the nasal cavity here, we have what makes up our nasal septum. So there's the perpendicular plate of the ethmoid bone. There's the vomer, which is down here. If you look in on either side, you'll see the concha. Okay, these are the turbinate bones that help swirl air around. So this is the inferior nasal concha. This is the middle nasal concha. Same on this side. Left side, inferior nasal concha, middle nasal concha, the superior nasal concha. You can't see it from this view because it would be deeper in there. Okay? This is our maxilla. This is the largest of the facial bones. And along here, you'll see all these bumps and ridges. If you take your tongue and you go underneath your top lip, back and forth, you'll feel all of these alveolar processes. They're kind of the sockets that your teeth fit into. These would be on the maxillary side. These alveolar processes would be on the mandibular side. This is our mandible. It's your jaw. Okay, this is the big movable part of our skull. We have a ramus. This is the angle here. And then the body. Same on this side. Ramus, angle, and body. That brings us all the way up to the mental protuberance. That's your chin. And you'll also notice the mental foramen there. This is where, obviously again where blood and nerve supply is going to come out.